Starting with my eyebrows, I brush them with the spoolie, then I apply soap. Using soap really helps to keep the hair from moving when shaping them because we all know how frustrating that can be. So I'm using Wet n Wild Brow Pomade in the color Brunette. It, you should always, I think you should always use a brown pomade instead of a stick because I think sticks are really chalky and they're not moldable. So just brow pomade, that's all I gotta say. Alright, so I am just cleaning up my eyebrows. I'm using the NYX concealer, Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Um, I don't really know the shade. I'll probably just list everything I use in the description box below. But um, I am just putting the finishing touches on my eyebrows and then we're moving on to primer. I am using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I really recommend this primer because it really does give you like a smooth airbrush effect. I'm using the Air Spud Banana Powder to help soak up the oil on my skin. It's really great for just giving you a nice matte finish, but um, would I use this for baking? No, I would not, okay? I've seen a lot of black women use this white powder for baking, and they swear that they make up look good, but you gotta understand the camera don't show you everything. So, I think that just to protect your sanity and to keep 2020 from playing you even, even further, just find one that's your skin tone, sis. Find one that's your skin tone, put it down. Just find one your skin tone. Okay, so right here I am just canceling out all my hyperpigmentation. Believe it or not, it's there. It's just that this lighting keeps it covered, thank God. Um, but yeah, this is like a technique I saw a long time ago and it really helped me improve my the appearance of my foundation because it made it a lot more smoother and it made my skin look less bumpy. So I definitely recommend this if you have acne. So right here, I'm just applying orange color correcting under my eyes just to cancel out my bags. Thanks to Rona, I have a poor sleep schedule. Right here, it was the moment I realized I could not find my buffing brush. So that was great. Right here, I'm just buffing out the technical concealer that I'm using just to make sure I don't have a mask thing on top of my face. And I'm just making sure I buff out everything so that way everything looks nice and smooth and not all lumpy and clumpy. So right here, I'm using my Jackie Einan palette. I'm just using the color credit, I mean edges, for my lid. For not my lids, but for my crease. And then I'm going to use the color credit for my lid. Dark shade. I'm going for a brown smoky eye look with like a red bottom line thingy I don't know what to call that but it's there red under eye there we go for a red under eye sounds more sophisticated that way but anyways I got the color red for my Fumi palette but as I was like editing this I realized something there's like there's some there's some black girl magic going on right here two black women are helping me be great I realized that and I almost cried like the emotion was just so strong. Don't you just love it when a message comes together? It just comes out of nowhere. But anyways, so if you are somebody like me and you're not the best with eyeshadow, I learned that if you just blend it out towards, you know, your eyebrows and then you cover it and then you correct it with concealer just to help sharpen it up, it makes it look more, you know, winged a little bit. So for foundation, I am using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop and I highly recommend this foundation because it is just absolutely amazing. It blends really well and when I wore it out, everybody keeps asking me like, what foundation do you use? It looks so good. And I'm like, oh, I got this from NYX. It's in the shade Mocha for anybody who wants to know. But yeah, I got a lot of compliments on it. I was like, okay, new favorite thing over here. L'Oreal need to go ahead and just move to the side, sis. Just go ahead and move to the side because we don't want you here no more. Right here, I'm just making sure that I don't have that white halo around my eyebrows. So I'm just double blending it. Alright, so confession time. Pinterest and TikTok brought me to make this tutorial. So in the first clip, I wasn't really sure what to do. So I had to watch the video before I um, did this. So that's why there's some continuity issue. But anyways, it's like a fox eye look. It's supposed to kind of give you like that model, like a really strong face like models have. You know what I mean? So you're supposed to apply concealer just in the corner part and in the side of your eyes instead of like all over, you know, your cheek area. 
And you're all supposed to apply it to the side of your mouth. But I'm going to be honest with y'all. I hated it. I hated it so much. Oh, my God. I was not feeling this at all. I look like I had some old ashy white streaks sitting on my face. And you'll see my reaction here soon. Watch. I couldn't. I was not feeling it. I had no choice but to laugh. Like, I was just not feeling this. This was not the move at all. Like, 2020 is just failing us in every way. Okay? So, I mean, like, okay, so maybe at first I hated it. Because I'll be honest with you. In the photos, I did not look that bad. But I was just not feeling the white streaks that were left on my face. Like, that was not, like, oh, my gosh. That was just a game. I feel like I got played. I'm blending this pretty well, though. I'll admit that. Shoot, this blend game is strong. Like, if you ever need somebody just to blend the heck out your face, please hit my lineup. I will do it for free. Right here, I am contouring. And yes, I know what my nose contour looks like, so you ain't got to start tripping in the comment section, okay? Okay, so I probably should explain why I'm using a smaller brush. I feel like using a smaller brush helps with carving your face better as opposed to a bigger one i think bigger ones can end up kind of giving you that like burnt look on the side of your face just like where it looks like a bunch of product that is not the color of your foundation got layered on there so i think that this one just helps to make the lines a little bit easier to navigate and a lot more smoother so i definitely think that you should use a smaller brush just to help shape it and you'll be able to get it where you want to as opposed to a bigger brush because I feel like the bigger brushes tend to kind of like stamp your face a little bit. Okay, so I did my regular nose contour, but for cheek contour, I also tend to put um, concealer underneath that because I feel like it helps to make your face look a lot more structured. And it helps to really bring out your cheekbones if that is something that you are going for. And I definitely recommend to do that. I am applying powder to my face right here and letting it sit for a minute so there's a continuity problem obviously because i was trying to beat the sun i was in a race against time okay i was trying to get out there and get that five and get that golden hour glow going um i am applying highlighter i think yeah i'm applying highlighter or am i applying blush i think i was applying blush the second half yeah it was blush but anyways i'm applying it to my cupid's bow as well it didn't really work out too great so eventually i just had to let it go so this is the finished look this is what it looked like inside look at that and this is what it looked like outside during golden hour now i'm gonna keep it real with y'all i'm feeling all the vibes in this photo i look like a young voodoo priestess i mean do you see the super moon in the background do you see the gold all around me this is a whole vibe like vibe out with me okay Alright guys, until next time and thank you guys for watching my video. Please like and subscribe.